These are old films that Vivian took in uh, the 50s and 60s. And this is at Grandma Lundaby's farm. The old pink house at Sylvia Bergstrom, Eileen, oops, Eileen and Elsie. This is Rodney. Rodney is really interested in what's going on. Here's Marion, Diane, Alice. These are all on Grandma's farm. Let's see. There's Sylvia, Eileen, scratching her boobs. Let's see. Alice and Diane and Marion. The river behind you, the old picket fence. Everybody had to pose for these pictures and move because they were moving pictures. And Rippy, Elsie, I guess, likes Rippy. And here we are back to Rodney with Elsie's head in the background. <laughs> Rodney still is not too interested. Here comes Margaret walking up to Elsie. Every Sunday, everybody met at Grandma's house for, for supper, dinner. Back to Marion. She was the baby in the buggy. There were lots of kids her age, but she got all the attention. And this is a picnic at Red Willow, it's Shirley. Uh, and it must be Ivor next. That's Berdella. These are really hard to see. It's shady. Everybody was all dressed up for all these picnics. High heels, dresses, the men had ties on so they could sit in the grass. Had the one with the hat as Berdella. See the men sitting around with their hats, ties, Here's Grandpa. He was the big daddy. Berdella. That's Gina. Margaret and her little friend Danny Devlin. This is Elsie, everybody's washing doll clothes. And of course the clothesline's hooked to the buggy with Marion in it. Jane Berg, the neighbor. This is big business, being like the, the mothers washing the doll clothes. Of course, there were no dryers in those days, so we had, had to learn how to do these things. Margaret was about three or four there, trying to manipulate a clothespin. There you go. <laughs> Robert, he was the cowboy. He thrilled everybody. He was about, oh, six or seven years old here. That's Grandma's house before it was painted pink. And here comes Ivor. Note the old barn in the background. Most of you haven't even seen that barn. Grandma, when it was hot, would wear her petticoat with an apron over it. There's Shirley and Ivor. It's Eileen and Carl. Always the cigarette. And there's Shirley, Ivor. I think it's Vivian and me. And of course, the dog, Rippy. Here comes Grandma in her petticoat and her apron. It was tough for people to pose for these moving pictures because they one's supposed to move with other pictures. Margaret's getting a permanent. Elsie's riding the pony at Rudy Opog's barn. I think this was our first try on a horse. As you can see, it's a little tough getting up and down. Note the old trucks and cars in the background. You can tell this is the 50s well, or late 40s. 52. 52. This is in Mackville. North Dakota.
everybody loved being on the films, sticking their faces in front of the camera. And of course, there were no jeans on kids in those days. We had to wear dresses all the time. There's Margaret jumping up and down. And I think it's Jane Berg, the neighbor girl. Rudy's giving us instructions on what to do. Give the horse a little push there, send him in the right direction. Here's Margaret. Her first try on the horse. Luckily, Rudy's got a tether on him, so he can't run off with her. Ah, back to the farm. Harvest, that's, um, I don't know who that is. It's Carl on the combine, Elsie, Margaret, and Eileen in the pickup, which was the grain truck. Wheat. Eileen. Marion's not too happy there. The license plates have changed. They were plain in those days. Marion thought she was going to do some movie making. Mount Rushmore, a trip Vivian and Carl took there when the movie camera was new. Daddy and somebody looking at Mount Rushmore. Vivian coming up the hill to now she's going to do a little pose here in the South Dakota Badlands. Stop to smell the roses. <laughs> 